Bill. Yeah, Crazy Bill. How? Well, I don't know. I don't understand a guy like that. Uh, his age. He's had four jobs in the last five years. He's not any older than you are. What do you mean it's his age? Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, a man as mature as he is, supposedly mature, you know, settle down and work it out. Well, settling down isn't always a sign of maturity. I guess you're right about that. Because it takes more courage to switch, look for something new. Hey. I like him. Bill's all right. Yeah, I'm, I don't dislike him. <clears throat> Find the time for the news? Yeah, just about. Could I interest you in some popcorn? Oh, no, thanks, Ann. As a matter of fact, I don't feel very well. well. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's something I ate. What did you have for lunch? Oh, just a hot dog. It never seemed to bother me before. There's some alcohol in the kitchen. Can I get you some? No, no, I'll get it. Where is it? It's in the cabinet over the sink. Okay, thanks. That's funny. That's not like him. He never gets sick. Maybe he's just tired. Uh, a little alka seltzer fix me right up. of television certainly has improved in the last few minutes. How are you doing, pal? Feeling any better? I feel fine. Why shouldn't I feel fine? I don't know. It's just that I've never seen you like this before. It's not like you to be sick. There's nothing wrong with me. Big Tom Musselman, All-American football player. Mm-hmm. Champion boxer of the 2nd Marine Division, the pride of the Marines. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, macho man. Nothing wrong with Lee except maybe this television set. I can still take guys half my age. Pride of the Marines. What's the matter? Well, I, my shoulders, shoulders, who hurt through, through, through here and around the neck, around my neck. I don't know what it is. It must have been from all that wood chopping. I Maybe it was from chopping all that wood yesterday. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I'm sure that's all it is. I think I'll take a hot shower. That ought to work some of the kinks out, huh? I'll be down in a little while. Maybe a hot shower will do you good. It just doesn't seem right. Hmm. Sure hurts. I can't understand. It's funny, you know. That never bothered me before. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe I better call the doctor. Well, I thought that hot shower would make me feel better, but it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe I have an aspirin. No, that, that's that's all right, Ann. I don't I don't need a doctor. I'm sure there's nothing wrong, and it'll go away in a little while. No, Tom. Now something's wrong. Let's find out what it is. 
Look, if it's nothing, we'll know now. And if something is wrong, then now's the time to do something about it. Sit down. Dr. Gaines, this is Ann Musselman. And my husband seems to be ill. Well, he feels he has indigestion, but I think it might be his heart. Yes. I'll call the ambulance. And you'll meet us at the hospital. Thank you. Did the shower help any? No, not really, Ann. Not as much as I thought it would. What do you think it is, honey? I don't know. I, I never felt like this before. A city hospital, this is City Ambulance 2. Uh, we have a 52-year-old white male, extreme chest pain, uh, numbness of the left arm, is very diaphoretic. Uh, his vitals are blood pressure 184 over 110. Pulse is 78. Respirations are 16. We have IV running with D5W, leader flow oxygen, and we are reading a strip. Stand by for a strip. I think I'd better call the doctor. No, 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 no. Oh, Tom, on. please. Look, it's going to be all right. I just took a couple of aspirin. But, but don't be foolish. I hate to see you like this. And if I can just get a good night's sleep, I'm sure everything's going to be all right in the morning. Okay? All right. Um, You're thanks. probably right. Well, thanks, anyway. Be all right. You'll feel better in the morning. All right, he's got an S4. Let's set him up real quick. Let me get some worse behind. Okay, just take some big, deep breaths now. That's fine. Should I call the doctor? Tom will be so angry if I do. I've got to do something. Should I call Beth? Yes, I'll call Beth. All right. How's this whole blood pressure holding? I've been hypertensive, 176 and 102. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll give him some morphine in just a little while. Beth, listen, Tom's sick. Well, he says it's indigestion, but, you know, I'm really worried about him. Yes, I do think I should call the doctor, but you know how Tom is about doctors. I hate to upset him when he's already feeling... I'll call you back. Tom? All right, so let's go over it again. Uh, when did it start? Well, we were, we were watching. I was going to tune the set in for the 10 o'clock news, and I felt uh, maybe something I had for lunch, a hot dog or something with a little upset stomach. So I went to the kitchen and had a, an Alka-Seltzer and came back. And I, mm -hmm. What did that feel like? Uh, uh, sort of a burning... Uh, sensation, I guess, in the upper, upper stomach, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should think that, uh, you'd be happy that you came in as soon as you did, you know. Uh, we'll do our best now, and I, I think you're probably going to be just fine. How you doing, honey? 
I feel much better now. Really. Quite you better. look so much better. You've had quite an evening. Um, I never did see the late show, huh? <laughs> you are the late show. Is it funny? Oh, a little bit. Did I push that up? Fingers that? No, it feels very good. 